I am not a sister of Tina, but I have been entrusted to be her maid of honor, which I am so very grateful for, and I'm just so thankful to be here for both of you guys. Thank you to everyone who's traveled hours and hours to be here. I know it's not easy, and speaking on behalf of everyone up here, we really do appreciate it, and thank you for the bottom of my, our hearts, and I can just thank you for being here for these two. Um, I've known Tina for about 10 years, and I, know, I think that's, what, 80 years and cat years? <laughs> I don't know the equivalent, at least it feels like it for me. Um, we met in high school orchestra class, and that's how I've come to know Laura and Brittany and Aaron, the redhead on the end over there, and um, our friendship has just blossomed into a wonderful, dorky, weird, classic adventure over these last 10 years. Like I said, I'm not a sister to you, but I pretty much feel like one. And I think I can speak on behalf of the Noel family that I'm the unofficial fourth Noel sister for <laughs> how long I've spent at your house. Um, over the years, at least in high school, like I, I think we can give these guys a run for the money for how many hours we put in Call of Duty and Halo. <laughs> and if not for the video games, at least for the amount of mac and cheese we consumed. <laughs> Too many boxes. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've been through so much together throughout the years. Um, this girl has been not only just an amazing rock, but the best supporter, the best hype woman, and <laughs> the best, most badass travel partner as of late um, for me. We've got a shoulder to cry on for me. There's so many ups and downs. We've laughed so hard, we've nearly caught ourselves. <laughs> Um, for raising glasses and cheer, uh, cheers into new beginnings. Your heart has been the most wonderful for me to open up to and allow myself to come and just ask anything of you. There's never been any ounce of judgment from you. There's always just been open-mindedness and open-heartedness. You're always offering words of truth to me only a best friend can get away with. You're the most understanding person I've ever met, and your soul has just blossomed and grown into something so wonderful, and you truly encompass everything I want to be as a woman, and I'm just so happy to be your best friend. It's been an honor and privilege to stand by you through all of these life's milestones from graduating high school, from sneaking into swimming pools to retrieve some left behind items, to turning 21 and showing the town of Plummet how to properly bar hop. Thank you to the Mole family for that. <laughs> and then also from moving across the country and back and graduating college, our friendship is one I will cherish for the rest of my life. I, my only hope was that when you came to find that, that person you were looking for, that they would cherish you as much as we do. My wish for you was that the minute you would find would end up to truly love and support you and care for you in the way that we do, one that would cherish your heart and know for certain that you would know for certain that this was real, honest, and true. And I can stand here and say that with certainty that she has done that with Jim. You have just truly blown all of us away, honestly. Meeting you all those years ago, you exemplified a whole level of patience that Adam mentioned with trying to win her heart. I mean, a saint would be jealous of the amount of patience this man has. <laughs> it's just one of your many wonderful qualities, Jim. <clears throat> Honestly, it's just been a blessing to see how well your souls have truly molded with each other, with how well you complement each other. You're, you're so kind and caring to her, and you have such a passionate spirit that just has truly grown and molded with Tina's matching passionate spirit. You've experienced many milestones of, milestones of your own, the best of all being you're filled with a lifetime's equivalent of world exploration, and I'm so honored to have been able to be by your sides through all of that, from you guys meeting to finally, finally dating, <laughs> and exploring the world together. It's led up, now this has all led up to the, one of the happiest days of your lives. I'm sure you question whether or not it was going to happen. <laughs> Um, and as you begin the next milestone of your life, I know that you both will always just greet each other with an open heart and respond to truth and remind each other exactly why it is that you call each other a soulmate. You both are so amazing and such beautiful people, and I am so truly honored to be seeing you here by your side through this whole adventure. Tina, I just want to thank you so much. It's been a privilege being your best friend to be able to walk 
beside you through all of these life milestones. <clears throat> for being a restaurant to walk alongside you on your wedding day. Thank you for rejoicing with me in our triumphs and also learning with me in our downfalls. Jim, thank you for loving my best friend the way that you do. Thank you for becoming a very close friend of mine. And thank you for seeing her as we do, and cherishing her, and loving her, and building a life with her that we all know you guys have so much more in store for you. Thank you for allowing us all to be here by your sides through it all. And I want to thank all of you here today. Thank you for being a part of their lives. And I want to thank you for all the more times that we will be by each other's sides, exploring all the other life's adventures. And I want everyone to raise a toast. This class. I want to wish these two the most wonderful, just joyful, wonderful life you guys can have. And cheers to the rest of their lives together. Cheers. Cheers.